Hey, today I'd like to show you one of the largest barrel revolvers that I own. This is a Colt 357 Magnum pipe bond with an 8 inch barrel. It is finished in bright nickel. Let's just take a look, make sure it is unloaded. We'll go along with the demonstration. That up. It's unloaded. <coughs> Let me swing this around a little bit. Let's see the other side. Uh, like I mentioned, this is an 8 inch barreled python. Uh, it is kind of on the heavy side, and uh, you're going to need two hands to handle this baby. You'll be firing uh, full load 357 uh, cartridges. This will also handle a 38 special cartridge. Uh, like uh, most of the other Colts that I own, uh, this has the vent rib barrel. Uh, it helps cool the firearm after you've been doing uh, a large amount of uh, firing. Uh, it's something that Colt uh, puts on their uh, uh, revolvers when they used to make revolvers, and uh, it's a nice feature. Uh, this also has adjustable uh, rear sight and a red outlined front sight. This particular piece was manufactured by Colt of Hartford, Connecticut in the year 1981. So we're talking pretty close to 30 years old. The condition of this is, in my opinion, uh, 97 to 98% perfect. Uh, there's a screw, a few little scuff marks here and there, but nothing really major. Uh, this would have been issued with um, either black rubber grips or uh, uh, wooden grips. These are not uh, Colt manufactured grips. Uh, this is another company that made these and they uh, put the Colt uh, medallion on there. Uh, someday I hope to find a pair of original Colt grips. They're very, very hard to find and locate. Uh, I saw a few on eBay. Uh, they're going up with some $250. <clears throat> uh, for a pair of wooden grips made by Colt for this particular revolver, most pythons in general. Uh, Colt did have, uh, they did come out with different types of wooden grips, different types of checkering, different types of material. But to be authentic as it was when it left the factory, the uh, grips are very difficult to find and they can run on the expensive side. Uh, once again, on uh, this is a uh, single action, double action, red choice. Uh, before I demonstrate uh, how this fires, always be sure surroundings, be sure of what you're aiming at. Never aim at anything you don't want to shoot. And beware of other people next to you on the firing line or in general wherever you happen to shoot. To fire this in single action mode, you pull the hammer back until it's fully loaded, uh, fully in the reverse position, fully cocked, and then you would squeeze, take aim, and squeeze the trigger. Gun will discharge on cartridge. To fire this in double action, you would simply take careful aim, pull the trigger all the way back, and as you can see, the revolver will turn, firing the gun. Uh, the action on these pythons uh, is extremely smooth. Uh, Colt only had the finest gunsmiths working on these uh, to get a, a perfect, as far as they can get a perfect revolver manufactured. Uh, this is a nice gun, like I said. It is a bit on the heavy side, and uh, it's uh, just another one, one piece of my collection. Um, you would also get the Colt Python uh, owner's book, something that uh, you should read, understand uh, before firing any weapon uh, of any weapon that you may own or may purchase in the future. Be sure you get that owner's book. Uh, if the if you buy a used firearm, uh, you can always call a company manufactured it, and they'll be more than happy to send one out to you the, uh, for no charge. Uh, if you don't understand something, uh, go to your local gun shop. 
and they'd be more than happy to explain the uh, the firearm that you may have purchased from them and uh, give you some helpful tips on cleaning, maintenance, and so on and so forth. Uh, also with this, uh, I bought this used, the, uh, the case that, I, that it came in um, is a nice plastic one, hot plastic, and again it's got the hole uh, right there so you can put a lock on there, keep people who are not authorized to touch this or handle this, keep the hands away from it. Always good to lock up all your firearms. So that uh, about wraps it up for this uh, edition of my Colt Pipe On with the 8 inch barrel finished in bright nickel. Uh, I'd like to leave you now with uh, something I try to leave you with in all my videos. Uh, remember one thing safe shooting, no accident. Thanks for stopping by, and hope to see you again. Bye for now.